Hi, my name's Gareth Spence. I'm currently in San Diego at OFC. I'm standing on Adva's booth, and I'm talking to Neil Robinson about the demonstration of a world first. It's all about the FSP 3000 Teraflex. Neil, thanks for joining me today. Let's dive straight into this. What are we looking at behind us right now? What's being demonstrated? Yeah, we have a very cool demo going on. So Teraflex itself is a leading next generation DCI box. So it's already demonstrating 600 gig per wave, multiple wavelengths per card, and then multiple cards per one RU shelf. So it's already world leading density in terms of its capabilities of traffic transport. And on top of that, we've added on the SDN capabilities here. So we're showing the automated optimization of transport, world first, uh, it's very cool. So while so many of the vendors are talking about just sheer capacity and such like, you're taking it a step further to talk about automation and control, is that correct? Correct, yes. I mean, the world basically wants to move towards software, really software controlled networking. So we've been working on SDN interfaces for many, many years. So we're showing off here our full NetConf SDN interface, working with an SDN controller now with an intelligent application sitting right on top, which is now really driving the automation of the setup of the optical signal. You know, so basically as the line system changes, the system can react to that. It monitors it, reacts to it, and adapts the optical network on the fly. And why is that so important to customers? Yeah, so basically you're maximizing your network throughput at all times. So we're really driving for, you know, using the advantages of these latest generation coherent processors, which have tremendous tunability. I mean, an order of magnitude more than the last generation. Um, but that tunability now, you want to uh, take advantage of that, right, as an operator to say, you know, no matter what my network condition is, give me the maximum throughput. You know, and, but I don't want somebody to have to watch it. I want a piece of software watching it. And that's why we're using this SDN control solution. And what is the impact to a customer's bottom line here? What does it do to costs and budgets? Uh, so it, it should you know, improve things like their network availability in terms of capacity. So you, a, a use case could be, for example, a customer has a link up and running um, and they have several choices of a restoration route when there's a problem in the network. Um, is with the last generation of technology, uh, the choice of restoration paths was fairly limited, right? So you only had a few options in terms of the modulation choices that you could use. Now we have literally an order of magnitude more choices in terms of capabilities of the line system. So it really opens up the, you know, the flexibility of the network to react to you know, events happening in the network, a fiber cut somewhere or an amplifier failure somewhere. You know, that really just says, okay, now we can adapt to that and open up, um, you know, more capacity for things like restoration. That's that's one use case. Another use case, right? So the the whole industry is moving towards open line systems, and so what happens with an open line system? You're separating the transponder from the line system itself. Uh, in order to maximize the throughput, now we need to know a lot less about the line system that we might be operating on with a Teraflex because we have a system that can adapt the modulation capability to the line system and really squeeze out the most capacity. So, you know, if you're paying a certain amount of money for the box, you really want to get as many bits out of that box as possible across the network. That's where it hits their bottom line in a very favorable way. Okay, and another hot topic at the demo here is the optical programmability of the Teraflex. Could you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely, so, you know, last generation of solutions we had um, you know, sort of single board rates, um, but multiple QAM state capability. Now we've gone, you know, we have um, twice as many QAM states. So that's, you know, how many constellation points you have for your signal. Um, but now a tremendously tunable board rate system. So what does that really mean? That means that you can set the bit rate versus distance product in a, in a much more granular way, right? So we can really squeeze that extra bit of capacity out of the line systems that we have. Um, fantastically tunable solution. Okay, and you've already touched upon this a little bit in an earlier answer, but disaggregation. It's a whole big topic for Adver. It really kind of uh, underlines a lot of what's happening behind us here. Could you talk about Adver's commitment to disaggregation and what we're seeing? Yeah, absolutely. So that's the other part of the demo. 
right? So it's Terraflex running on, on our new open line system, right? So we've been a leader in open line systems for a long time, and we truly mean open, right? So it is a system that's designed to work with other people's equipment. Um, we kicked that off, gosh, almost 10 years ago, right? With our partnerships with Juniper, running Juniper line systems, Juniper routers over our line systems, right? Something nobody else was doing. Uh, we kept it going, right? With other multiple partnerships. Most recently, we took on the tip Voyager box, right? Which really is a third party box for Nadva. Um, so we're following that up now with a, a brand new open line system release. Very flexible, supports coherence, supports PAM4, supports these new modulation formats and you know, variable board rate solutions. Um, so it's really ready to take on anybody's terminal equipment. Okay, fantastic. Neil, thanks for talking to me today.